Welcome to Spider Auto's Headlight Installation Guide for the Mercedes-Benz SLK. Before we get started, you'll need the following. A 10mm socket wrench and a ratchet, a 10mm open-end wrench, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. To protect that valuable paint job, you should have some painter's tape or masking tape, and a soft non-abrasive surface to work on while we're working on the lights. We'll start by taping off the edges of the bumper and fender to protect the paint while we're working. Now we'll remove two 10mm bolts on either side of the grill and two 10mm nuts at the hood bumpers. When removing these two 10mm nuts, you'll want to use an open-end wrench. Okay, let's move down to the fender well, where we'll remove two 10mm bolts that hold in the fender liner. With the two 10mm bolts removed, now we can peel back the fender liner for access. Looking up from the wheel arch, you can see two 10mm bolts closest to the outside of the fender. These are the two we'll be removing. Now moving back topside, we're going to remove two 10mm bolts here and here. Peeling back the edge of the bumper and fender, we're going to remove one 10mm bolt on the inside. Now to remove the lower grill. Here are the locations of the six retainer clips that secure the grill. Use a flathead screwdriver to release these retainer clips. Release the retainer clips by gently prying them free of the grill. Be careful not to bend the grill in the process. And now we can remove the grill. There are two 10mm nuts behind the grill that must be removed before we can remove the bumper. Now unseat the front bumper. Now after unseating the bumper, we need to disconnect a few things before it's totally free. Disconnect the side marker and the fog light wiring harnesses, and be sure you also remove the temperature sensor needle from the driver's side of the bumper. Be sure to disconnect both side markers. With everything disconnected, now we can remove the bumper and set it aside. Moving underneath the headlamps, we're going to need to disconnect that feed hose for the headlight washers. You may want to have a cup ready to catch the washer fluid. Now moving up slightly, we're going to need to remove these two 10mm bolts. Then disconnect the headlamp wiring harnesses. Unfortunately, due to space limitations, we can't show you with our camera. However, these are the harnesses that must be disconnected before the headlight can be removed. With the last two bolts removed and the harnesses disconnected, now you can unseat the headlight. And then go ahead and remove it. Now let's take our original lights and our new ones to the soft non-abrasive surface we had earlier. We're going to need to transfer a few things over, so we'll start by removing the headlight washer assembly here. 
Remove the three Phillips head screws securing the headlight washer and assembly in its bracket. Now remove the three Phillips head screws securing the outermost ballast. Now remove the ballast. Now you should be able to remove the headlight washer assembly and its bracket by sliding it rearward. Now to remove the three Phillips head screws securing the second ballast. Now remove the second ballast. With everything disassembled, you should have the following. Two ballasts, six screws, your headlight washer assembly, and its bracket, and the three Phillips head screws for it. Now to transfer it to your new headlight. We'll start at the back side. Your new headlamp should come with a turn signal bulb pre-installed. Now remove the HID access cover from your new headlight. Notice there's no HID bulb. We're going to have to transfer a few things over from your original headlight as well. Remove the HID access cover from your original headlight. Then remove the HID igniter pack from the bulb by rotating it to release it. Then release the HID retainer clip and remove the HID bulb. Now install the HID bulb in the new assembly and secure it with the retainer clip. Now going back to your original headlight, we have the ballast igniter pack. Disconnect it from the wiring harness, bring it over, connect it to the new headlight's wiring harness, then twist it into place aligning the tabs on the projector with the tabs on the igniter box. After locking the igniter box into place, reinstall the HID cover seal. Be sure the seal is installed securely to prevent condensation problems. Now let's move to the underside of our new headlight. Okay, take this ballast, install the ballast on the plug on the innermost section of the headlight, and then go ahead and reinstall the three Phillips head screws that secure the ballast. Now to install that headlight washer assembly. Slide the bracket off the headlight washer because we're installing the bracket first. Mount the bracket against the headlight housing and then go ahead and install the two Phillips head screws to secure it to the housing. After installing that second Phillips head, we're going to need to stop for a moment to reinstall that second ballast. Mount the ballast against that second outermost plug, and then go ahead and reinstall the three Phillips head screws that secure it to the headlight housing. It's important that we mount the second ballast before trying to install the headlight washer. Now it's time to reinstall the headlight washer. Install it by sliding the tabs into place on the lower lens and on the bracket. If you've aligned it correctly, the assembly should line up with the hole in the bracket. Reinstall the Phillips head screw that secures the headlight washer to the bracket.
And now we can install our new headlight. We'll start by reconnecting the wiring harnesses. Match the harnesses up one at a time and connect them. With the harnesses connected, now we can mount the headlight. Go ahead and seat the headlight. At this point you should take a break to stop and test your headlights before going through the trouble of reinstalling the bumper. Now to reinstall the three 10mm headlight mounting bolts. Here at the fender, and over here just outboard of the grill, and we have this one up here near the top of the wheel arch. Now we'll need to remount the front bumper, as shown. Align the top edge of the bumper with the mounting holes for the hood bumpers and reinstall the two 10mm nut slash hood bumper assemblies to secure the front bumper fascia to the body. Installing these two nuts first will allow us to support the bumper but we'll still leave it flexible enough so that we can still get back and reconnect things. With the front bumper still loose, we can reconnect the fog light harness as well as reinstall the temperature sensor. Lastly, we need to reinstall the side marker bulb and socket before we mount the bumper completely. Now reinstall the two 10mm bolts that are mounted on either side of the grill as shown. Now to reinstall the two 10mm bumper to fender bolts as shown. Then reinstall the two 10mm fender liner bolts. After reinstalling the fender liner bolts, now we need to reinstall the lower grill. The lower grill we simply just push back into place. The retainer should snap right in. And with that, we just close the hood and we're finished. Congratulations! You successfully installed a set of Spider Auto projector headlights in your Mercedes-Benz SLK. Videography by Nitro Nick. Kiki, yeah.